All right, so now we're going to work on mission three, which is roulette. So for this one, um, the way it works is it'll cycle through four different options, and each of those options will correspond to like forward, backward, left, or right. It'll just keep cycling through those. And then every time you press the right button, it'll select whichever one it's on, and it'll move that direction for one second. So then you have to try to figure out how to maneuver around and figure out which modes are which. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started on that. We'll start by including the code drone library, just like usual. So that way we have all the background files we need. Um, and then instead of setup, we need to do the connection. So we'll do the code drone dot begin 1152.00. Um, so that way we get connected to the Bluetooth board and then the code drone dot auto connect nearby drone to connect up to a drone nearby. Um, inside of the loop here, we're gonna be using both the right and the left buttons. The left one for our start and our kill switch and the right button for selecting which um, mode we're gonna do, or which direction. So we'll go ahead and we'll do the digital reads for those and save them into BT1 and BT8. And then we'll go ahead and get started. We'll program the kill switch and the start switch. So what we're gonna actually do is we're gonna use it both as our start and stop switch for our code. So you press it the first time and they'll start up your code. And the second time you press it, it'll stop it. So what we'll do for that is we'll check to see if the button's pressed to begin with. And then we're gonna have a variable named flag. So we'll have to go up to the top of our code and create it. So up here we'll create flag and we'll have it start out as equal to two. So at the very beginning of our code it'll be two and that'll be the only time it's equal to two. So down here to know if we're pressing it for the first time, we'll check to see if flag equals to two. So inside of here we'll check if flag is two and if it is, we'll go ahead and we'll set flag to zero. So that way it'll only happen the very first time we press it. And then we'll have it sing a little song and give us some time to get our finger back off. So we'll go through and we'll do um, four buzzes, each getting louder, so it'll get higher and higher pitch. And then we'll wait a half a second. Just so that way once you press it, you have time to get your finger back off and all that. Um, but now what we need to do is, what if we press it and flag is not equal to two? So now we'll work on doing the else part of our code. So for the else of this, we want to actually stop our um, drone from flying. And just to make sure that it doesn't go in and do anything else, we're also going to set flag equal to three, which we won't use anywhere else. This is to make sure that it doesn't keep running. So it's a little confusing. It'll make a little more sense as we get farther along as to why we have like flag three, flag two, and stuff like that. But for now, just kind of bear with me and we'll come back to that. Um, so now what we'll do, work on next, is the actual roulette part of it, where it'll like spin, be selecting between the different modes. So for that, what we're going to do is we're going to have a timer that's going to keep track of how long it's been, and every so often it'll trigger and it'll get sent off. So this is what our if statement is going to look like. So we're going to have our middle minus timer to keep track of our time, and inside of here, every time it gets triggered, we're going to reset our timer. So it'll just keep getting reset every time through. And then if it's greater than interval, which we'll have to create, so this will be a variable to make, so that way we can kind of adjust the difficulty. So up at the top of our code, we'll create, we'll create the variable interval. And we'll start it out with equal to 225. Um, this is kind of like a medium difficulty. Um, the bigger the number you make, the slower it'll cycle through each step, because this is how long it'll wait before it changes the mode, is what it's going to do. So if we make this a bigger number, it'll take longer, so it'll be easier. If you want to get it more challenging, make it a smaller number and see how small of a number you can actually do. Um, and then the other thing when we're going through and doing our roulette is we want to make sure that we're in flag equals zero. So that way up here, it won't start running until we press the button. Um, so now what we'll do is every time this gets used, we're going to add one to our roulette value. So that way we know, can figure out which one we're on. So up at the top of our code again, all the way up at the top, we're gonna to create roulette. Um, so right up here, we're gonna create roulette, and we also need to create our timer. So we're gonna have an unsigned long timer, and we're go, gonna have int roulette. And if you notice, I'm having it start out 10, just so that way it's not one of our options, so that way it just, you know, we don't have to worry about anything happening on the very first run. So now we've got our timer and our roulette created, so now down here we have timer created, intervals created, flags good, timers good. So now we can go through and do the math for roulette. So now every time through, uh, we're going to add one to roulette. So roulette will equal roulette plus one. 
and then the timer resets, it'll come back through, add one, and after, so every interval amount of time, one gets added to roulette. But since we only have four options we're going to do, forward, right, back, left, we want to limit our roulette to, so that it's never bigger than four. So we're going to add an if statement here to check. If roulette is ever greater than or equal to four, we'll set it back to zero. So our four directions will be zero, one, two, three, and then that next time we come around when roulette's three, we add one to it, and it, which makes it four, which would make this a true statement. So then roulette will get set back to zero. So just cycle zero, one, two, three, zero, one, two, three, and just keep going around like that. But now since it's gonna be a little difficult to know what it's actually doing, and if it has no way of indicating to you, it'll just be you know random and you won't really know which direction it's gonna move. So we're gonna add in a buzzer that'll buzz at different tones based on what roulette is. So using this little bit of math, so it'll do like 2,000 times roulette plus one. So the first time through, it'll be 2,000. Then when roulette is one, it'll be 4,000. Then it'll be 6,000, 8,000, and then back to 2,000. So you can use that just to try to figure out which one it is because it'll make a different tone every time through. So this will be kind of your indicator to have an idea of which one it's actually going to be doing. 